Hey folks, welcome back to a new episode. Today we're gonna to talk about something that came in from a subscriber and I'm gonna just read it exactly verbatim. And uh, he asks, uh, possibly can you talk about some of the expenses, property, transfer tax, lawyer fee, real estate agent commissions, who pays them when and how to calculate them. So let's get into it folks. Please note the full disclaimer. So when you purchase a home or condo, any real estate in Ontario, you're going to get charged a land transfer tax. And furthermore, if you actually buy a property in Toronto itself, there's an additional land transfer tax that equals the one of Ontario. So you're talking about double. Now we're going to look at a real example of a property in Ontario, but not in Toronto, versus one in Toronto to see the difference, as well as factoring in whether you're a first time home buyer or not. Let's dive into the numbers. So here we have a $600,000 condo, let's say, that we purchased in Mississauga, and the person is not a first time home buyer you're looking at land transfer tax of $8,475. Next, we look at the same example of Mississauga, but this time, if you are a first time home buyer, you get a rebate. And in this example, you're looking at land transfer tax of $4,475. Now, let's move over to Toronto. In Toronto, like I mentioned earlier, you're looking at double land transfer tax. So in this case, with a $600,000 condo purchase in Toronto, not being a first time home buyer, you're looking at $16,950 for the land transfer tax. And if you are a first time home buyer, you're looking at $8,475 because of the rebate. So let's take a fresh example to illustrate this. Let's say you buy a million dollar property in Toronto, whether it be a new property or a resale. The total taxes between what the city of Ontario is gonna charge you and what Toronto is gonna charge you is $32,950. Because the maximum credits for being a first time home buyer in terms of rebate will be a total of the 4,000 from the province and 4,475 for a total of $8,475 in rebates. Then you subtract that from what you owe and you're looking at a net land transfer tax that you would have to pay upon closing of $24,475. Still a good chunk of change, but it's better than the full amount. Let's tackle some of the other costs that are involved now as well. If you're looking at a home that you're purchasing, you may want to get a home inspection to make sure that the property is as advertised and free from any major defects. Next cost that is also borne by the purchaser is the appraisal. This is usually a requirement of the actual bank or financing company when they give you a mortgage because they want to make sure that the value of the home or condo supports what they're actually lending you to protect their own interests. The other cost we must consider is the lawyer's fees, including title insurance that they do for you and the title search and all the disbursements altogether, for example, on one of the condos that I purchased for about 550,000 not too long ago, the total lawyer's fees came out to be about $2,800. Finally, we can look at the realtor commissions and this is fortunately not a responsibility of the purchaser. So there you have it folks. As a general rule of thumb, 
you can pretty well count on between three to four and a half percent of the purchase price for closing costs.